Amy Haddad, and my idea is um, dealing with the three states of matter, where you have to teach the students uh, solid, liquid, and gas, and you need to make sure to explain to them that the molecules in a solid are still the same in the liquid and the gas, they're just moving at a different rate. So a great idea is to use balloons to represent those molecules and have every student hold on to a balloon and when you are doing solid, you would take the balloon and they would cluster them all together, but they would still be vibrating because you still want them to know that those molecules are still moving. And then for a liquid, you would have them touch each other's balloon, but try to still spread out and fill up the room even though they're touching the balloon to signify a liquid filling up its container. And then for a gas, you would have them throw the balloons all around, making sure that they're kind of bouncing all around so they're filling the container all, all together. Um, but with the liquid, of course, it's still, you know, maintaining its shape, even though it's spilling out. So in the classroom, typically you would use this for more of your elementary because they need a concrete example of what solid, liquid, and gas would look like under a microscope, but more of like, I guess, in front of them. So, um, you know, they're getting up, they're moving, they're involved in the lesson, they're a lot more likely to remember what it is that they're learning instead of just looking at, you know, a diagram or a um, picture in a textbook.